Yay, I'm back. After like five minutes of taking that down. <laughs> I think. Um, anyway, to the answer of the question. Now, the question was, um, what would happen if you had a time machine and you went back in time and destroyed the time machine that you were building and stopped its production? Now, um, what would essentially happen would effectively now this is theoretical I cannot prove this and I I will preach that now I cannot prove it because I do not have a time machine and even if I did I would still try not to prove it because well the effects would be drastic um, anyway to the point at hand um, the question was if you had a time machine and you went back in time um, you stopped the production of the time machine that you used to go back in time now whether this be destroying it or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, what actually happened is when you stop the production of that, um, time would loop. Now, this is actually the point that I had last, but anyway, <laughs> back on topic. Um, what would actually happen would time would loop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now picture this: the time machine that you had in the future that you used uh, vanishes in and out of time. Okay, now picture it actually vanishing in and out of time. Right? When you do this, you upset the molecules, the atoms that are uh, that are actually around the time machine, of the time of it v vanishing in and out. Now. This is happening both in <sighs> this is happening both in the present, which is the time that you took the time machine back to the past, right? And it is also happening in the past where you destroyed uh, the time machine, the time machine's production, right? Now uh, picture these two time machines flashing in and out of existence. <laughs> I know that's actually quite funny, but anyway. Anyway, the molecules um, that are around these two time machines um, uh, are distorted. Um, they get <sighs> distorted. That's actually the only word I could use. They uh, well, they get upset. Put it that way. Um, yeah. So anyway, they get distorted, upset. Um, so much so that as when you're flashing in and out of this um, time machine um, you cause friction now friction think about that um, friction can be anything it can be that it can be um, no it can't be can, uh, can, uh, feck. <laughs> Oh, it can't be that. Um, however, it, it would cause friction. So much so that an infinite loop of these time machines coming in and out of existence. <laughs> you could imagine how much heat that would cause. Um, now, take something as simple as... Um, I'll take that one, that description from the last video. Um, the shuttle coming down from space. The air hitting the bottom of the shuttle causing a massive amount of friction they have actually developed um, um, lube? lube? yeah lube um, <laughs> a specific sort of metal and um, some sort of gel um, to stop this friction from completely destroying the shuttle and ultimately saving the astronauts um, now I'm not saying that this machine, um, these time machines, let's say, in fact, let's say these time machines are actually built out of this stuff. Um, it wouldn't actually matter if you look at a shuttle, it, the air still hitting the bottom of the shuttle still causes a huge amount of friction. And that is just from a shuttle coming down to Earth from space with the gravitational pull. Now, um, 
because the um, time machines are actually affected by different gravitational pulls. Yes, that's right, gravity evolves as well. And it does so, and it will always so. Um, the, uh, the, feck, the time machines going in and out of existence causing friction. Now, this would actually cause a super amount of heat because it's an, an infinite loop. Um, this will ultimately um, result in a massive explosion um, that could, in fact, w could in fact actually destroy the universe. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, that's actually quite disturbing. I hope we never learn how to time travel. And if we do, we have to put fucking very strict rules on it. Um, I've given time travel a hell of a lot of thought, um, but still, it's all theory. It is all theory. Um, because there's no way for us to actually prove it. There, we have no time machine to go back to the future or the past. Or the back to the future, wow. <laughs> Movie quote. That was random. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh... There's no way for humanity to actually prove this until we've le reached a level of consciousness, consciousness where <laughs> we actually realize what the hell we're doing. Um, I am actually waiting for humanity to evolve to the point where we can control molecules, because that would be very interesting. Um, to the point, um, time travel is evil. No, that's too bad. Um, time travel is bad. Okay, it is very bad. If we misuse that ability when we get it, um, well, we're all fucked, basically. And that's putting it mildly. Um, hopefully, uh, humanity will never actually learn how to time travel. Um, because, well... Everything could go missing from the past, let's say. Let's put it that way. Let's say Vasily Zaitsev's sniper rifle. Which, if you had uh, uh, watched my last video, you <laughs> you'd be mind warped by now. <laughs> but, uh, my brain is an overload. I have to fucking sleep or stop thinking or something. Shoot me. Shoot me. Stop my brain from thinking. Anyway, um... I don't actually mean shoot me. I'm, I'm not suicidal. Um, yeah, so that's basically time travel. Um, uh, there's not much else to say. And there's like one minute fifty seconds. I think I'll just end it. Um, anyway, good night, uh, good morning, or wherever your time zone. Um, I hope you enjoy YouTube and watching these videos. I hope they're enlightening or um, making you a little bit aware of what's actually being thought about in the universe or the world. Uh, anyway, <laughs> good night, good morning, whatever your time zone.